Hey guys, this is Kemoro. So today I try to show you about the continuation of the implementation of passkeys. So last time, last time what we did is the web version using this jury, very nice uh, repository. I modified a little bit and, and cloned it in my repository. So when I register test three. Uh, this is gonna ask you to create a passkey for localhost and continue and use my fingerprint and like this and when I look out when I look back in with the test tree it's gonna ask me the fingerprint my biometrics and after biometrics it's authenticate and login so how this work I explain in like a very simple way so only the difference between the last time and uh, this time is this application becomes iOS. So this iOS application will call the, this web application. It's post in here. Yeah, this one. This application in the backend. And also it's create a public key, secret key, and all the functionality is the same. But the only difference is front end becomes iOS. So let's begin. If you go back to the folders, uh, last time what you worked on the, the folder you worked on was the web folders. However, there is an app folder underneath. So this one is actually the iOS project. So if you go to the terminal and you go to the application and then you open up with your Xcode open dot. Ah, this was wrong. Open and this one. Uh, dot xcode, xcode project. This is gonna open up this xcode applications. So I'm connecting this to my phone here. So whatever you need to change is a little bit following. So before that, I will talk a little bit about. Okay, I will a little bit talk about Ngok. Ngok. Ngok is gonna basically. This is running in localhost. This API, however, uh, iOS is a different device. Outside of the localhost, uh, in this, in my case, this is connecting to my connect to, to my mobile provider network. So I need to I need to know where the local host is. So this NG Rock is gonna publish the local host to the public IP. So just uh, let me show you how to do it. So in my case this is a application running local host IP. So I just call NGROG HTTP and this. So what it does is it's gonna create a global IP and that is mapping to my this local host 5173. So this is pretty easy and very useful when you do the developing. So let's see if I go here. If I use this. Yeah, I'm sure I'm seeing my local host application. In this, uh, in this global IP. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the code a little bit. So this codable is basically all the struct, the codable struct. It's like a model, model struct, right? User API response with data. And this has a message and the data. This is a generic T, type T. It's also the codable. So entire thing is codable, of course. API response without data is only the message. Login, get message, uh, get response, is challenge, and allowed credentials. Uh, resistor get response, it char also the challenge and UID. Uh, allowed credentials, it type and an ID. Okay, this is the codable. What is the data? Data is a local storage. So it's uh, calling the user default. So as you know, the 
local storage is just the file, basically the file attached to these uh, applications. So it's going to store in the user device. So it's uh, in this case, the token is stored in the user default uh, as a file and unless the user delete the applications, uh, this token is going to be stored in the device so that whenever user open up the application, you can access via this user default local storage. User session is a little bit long, so I would will, I will like you to uh, read about it. However, uh, User session has several functions. Sync user profile and get registration options. So as you see here, all the API hosts is uh, it this AF is Aroma Fire. This is gonna fire the HTTP request. It's a request to this endpoint. Blah 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 and register with. Uh, it's all taking the uh, API host and send the request to this API host. This is what you need to be aware of. So this login function, logout function. So it's it's this is like a, some kind of view model, right? And passkey handler, passkey handler is an NS object. Uh, control presentation context providing and it has some function that you need to be aware of the authorization controller and this one is also the API host yeah so this detail I uh, I don't go to the detail you need to if you want you you can just go in and detail uh, you can see it and okay and content view. So content view is basically the first screen that you see after you open up the application. So you have a text box, text, text field, username, login, a uh, username to input the username, and also login. But as you see, there is no password field. That's the case. Right? So after you implement the passkey, you don't need to use any password. The application is going to pass rest and all handled by uh, biometrics and uh, underneath uh, underneath signature, digital signature and stuff. What I wanted to make sure is the data, this uh, passkey handler and the user session. So as I mentioned, the API host is going to be dynamic in depending on your application. So in this case, actually, so this is the backend that I just showed uh, with the energy rock. Okay, so I will write it again. Okay, so here is iOS app. iOS app. And I'm sorry guys, I'm not be familiar with this tool yet. So it's going to take some time. Oh, uh, this is the byte backend. And here is a DB. Okay, so this one is actually in here, local host. However, like I showed, we use the ng lock to open up the open up the public IP. So iOS can look at look at like this, and it's gonna map local host, and it's going to like this. So I need to put the API host as this this one. The one ngrock is open up open it up. So just copy uh, the domain is okay under http uh, colon slash slash after that the domain. So go back to Xcode. And the way I call this API host is basically here go to the top and the view settings just go all the way down so user define so user define the backend API host so debug 
So just put whatever you have here. Okay. And whenever you build it, the application is read the backend API host from here. Uh, this is this line, by the way, bundle main dot object for info dictionary key API host. This API host, uh, this one is better. Okay, so and this arm of fire will call arm of fire in here. Arm of fire will call the HTTP request to here, right? So it was previously here, it was hosted in here. However, you need to just change like this. So I already changed and I pushed in my repository. So what you need to do is to just go here and go to the user defined function, as I, as I said, and just replace this with your whatever backend host, hosted, right? So this rain party, just go back to, if you remember, this rain party, yes, you need to change this to this one. Oh, sorry. Is ADA start with ADA three. This is de if development. This is gonna be the rain the line party. Okay, let's do that again. X code. Associated with identifier. So where is this? Somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I think. Yeah, I think this one. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. So there is another thing you need to configure. So jury here, and you go to the sign-in capabilities. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? General. I'm sorry, not the general. Yeah, there's a sign-in capabilities. There's associated domains. So you need to put Two things, not the two things, I'm sorry, one things. This guy. Web credentials, and this is a domain that you need to associate with this application, right? So you need to put this, I'm sorry, this, this one. Okay, see how it goes. Stop the application, run it again. Oh, yeah. So it's asking me if uh, use ID use face ID to sign in. So I continue and use my face ID. Okay, so I probably need to hit the login. Yeah, use the face ID to sign in. in is oh yeah. Oh yes, it's showing the GIF. Okay, so this is it. So what if I put the already test for is already registered? So if I if I put the register again, yeah, it's not gonna do anything. However, log in. Yeah, it's showing me sign in, use the passkey. Continue. And successfully log me in. Yeah, look out. Okay, so that's it. So there is a several stuff that you needed to. A little bit careful, like this associated domains, and also the if you go the build setting, that the user defined, and you need to set the public IP for the backend API host. In that case, you can go user session and passkey handlers, whatever the alarm fires request, uh, is gonna look up that API host. Okay, that's pretty much it today for today. So today. What I talk, 
just quick summary is uh, continuing with the previous video, I hosted the backend application in here and the map is with the rock like this and uh, I build the iOS application and around fire calls the ng rock and do this and the DB DB is the same with the last video so if you didn't wa did not watch the last video you can just go back and then just quickly check it up however this is the iOS application with a passkey so thank you thank you for this thank you for this video so if you are interested in this kind of prototyping, fast prototyping things, and then make the things work, uh, I'm I'm posting this kind of video from time to time. So if you are interested, please uh, subscribe. Also, if you have any comments and questions, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the hit the like button. So thank you guys. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.